Okay, you can see this web video at spayaz.com. <laughs> We're going to mark the umbilicus with my finger. Put a clamp there. And you can feel the pubic bone to put the other clamp. That's, those are good landmarks so we get the incision in the right place once we cut the drape. We want to go halfway between these two clamps. So we'll make the incision right here. And separate the, the fat. This is a very young cat, so she doesn't have much fat. make an incision into the abdomen right on the linea alba where the muscles come together in the middle of the abdomen use a hook to bring up the uterus very small on a young cat Trace the uterus to the ovary. Break the ovarian ligament. To isolate the ovarian artery here, which we begin a knot and then clamp it. Use another clamp to break it off and then finish our knot when we slip off the knot off the end of the here we have our knot that will prevent bleeding of the ovarian artery. This is one horn of the uterus. We trace it back down and find the other horn of the uterus, which we trace up to the other ovary here. Again, we break the ligament to isolate the vessel. And use the clamp to tie our knot. Back down the horns of the uterus till we find the body of the uterus here where they come together. Use another suture to around the body of the uterus. So that the uterus doesn't bleed. So we removed two ovaries and we're removing the uterus.
the ovary, make sure there's no bleeding. Put it back in the abdomen. Close the abdominal wall. Close the skin using a subcuticular suture where we actually go through the bottom layer of the skin rather than clear through it. So that we bury the suture, the cat won't have to come back for a suture removal. This will just absorb into the body. Bury the knot, go back in with the end of the suture, out through the side, and that pulls the knot down. Into the abdomen, and then we'll put a drop of glue on the top so it doesn't come back up. We do 40,000 of those a year at Spay Neuter Clinic, Inc. SpayAZ.com.